fitting a line to data. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how to fit a line to a data set that you've collected or you've been given. Um, in this case, I'll be talking about a line that goes through the origin. This is a slightly simpler case than the more general case. The same approach applies, but the formulas get a little bit more complicated when we're dealing with a line like y equal ax plus b. So this process is sometimes referred to as linear regression or sometimes as linear least squares. Okay, let's go over to Excel. So here I have a data set that I've already copied into Excel. And what you see here is the first row are the X coordinates of my data set and the second row are the Y coordinates of my data set. So let's put these into a scatter plot so we can see what we're working with and ah, Excel was clever enough to do it all for me and interpret it correctly. So um, what we would like to do, okay, let's add to this an attempt at adding a straight line. So we don't know what the line's gonna be, but let's say I'll start off with a guess that the slope of the line is one, and let's put in some coordinates for how to plot a line. So we only need two points on a line to plot it, and we know that this line is gonna go through the origin, and where else will it go through? Well, the data goes all the way up to close to six. So in case I decide later to change my data set, what I'll do is I'll put in the maximum X value here. And that gives me, in this case, 5.6. And I guess I can put in the minimum X value here and that ensures that my line will go at least, or well, exactly along the span of the data set. Now this is no longer zero, so now I have to put in the equation of the line, and since it's just a simple line uh, y equal ax, I just need to add here the slope, which will be b4 contains my slope, multiplied by the x value. And since the line slope is one, that'll be the exact same value. And now I can copy this over and that gives me the equation of a line with slope one. If I change the slope to two, it'll double both those entries. Okay, so let's add this to our plot. So I click, right click on the plot and select data. And then I will add a new series and I will make the X coordinates just those two and the Y coordinates those two and that looks okay and now you'll notice that it gives me dots just because the first one I use dots so let's click on the dot and go back to the scatter and now let's treat that one as a line so we get a line segment now you see that's a terrible fit the slope is way too steep let's decrease it back to one still too steep let's put it at let's say 0 0.2 no not steep enough 0.3, getting closer, 0.5, overshot, 0.4. Hmm. Okay, that looks like a pretty decent fit, but we may be able to do better in the sense of least squares. So what do we need to do to find the line that is the best fit line to this set of data in the least squares sense? So uh, what we need is a formula for A. And now if you remember from class or from the course notes, um, what we need to do is we need to sum up the product of XI and YI uh, for each data point, and then divide that by the sum of XI squared. So this is just a reminder. It's not a formula for Excel to interpret. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is now define a, just a, that's just a note, and then I'm going to put the formula here. Now, I could start typing and write all these values out, but that turns out to be um, much less efficient than it needs to be when you're using a spreadsheet. I have all these cells right here. I could easily just do my products and squares and add them into entries below and then add all those up across this way. So what I'm going to do is I am going to insert three rows just to give myself some space and now here I am going to put in x times y and here I will put in x squared 
So x times y, that'll be equal to this guy multiplied by this guy. And now I can copy that, oh, not that direction, copy that all the way across that whole row. Similarly, I can define x squared once and copy that one all across this row. And that gives me the individual x times xi's times yi's and the individual xi squareds. Now what I need to do is I need to sum those up. So I will sum up equal sum of, and now I'm going to go down this whole row, adding up all of the x times y's that I have. And then I will go along this row, adding up all of the xi squareds. And now in u3 and u4, I have the two quantities that appear in my a formula. So I just need to now write equal u3 divided by u4. And that gives me, oh, look at that. So my guess of 0 0.4 was actually quite good. I got lucky in this case. Uh, because the number was fairly accurate just by guessing. Um, and you'll notice now if I switch the formula, instead of using B7, which is my guess, if I now switch that to B12 for both of these entries, I'm going to copy that over. So now these two, instead of referring to my guess up here, it now refers to the actually calculated one here, which is the least squares value of A. The line doesn't look any different, but it's now the least squares best fit line to my data. And that is how you use a spreadsheet to calculate the best fit y equal ax line.